Hello everyone, welcome back to Illinois Gardening. In this video, I want to show you how I built my greenhouse. This video should give you an idea on how to build a greenhouse on your own and save money from buying expensive greenhouse kits. I'm quite satisfied with the outcome of this greenhouse. The plants are doing very well after I moved them indoor for winter. Watch till the end for finished greenhouse and how well my plants are doing. This greenhouse is 8 feet in length, 5 feet in width and 6 feet tall. I purchased 12 2 by 3 studs. All of them are 8 feet in length. 11 2 by 2 strips, again 8 feet in length. I use the 2 by 3 studs for all the corners and I use the 2 by 2 strips for all the center supports. Cut all the uh, pieces um, based upon the height, um, width and the length of the, of the greenhouse and assemble them um, like shown here. So I use the normal hardware screws to put them into place um, by connecting all the, the corners and all the support structure. This is an update on my indoor greenhouse. This is the finished greenhouse located uh, in my basement towards one corner and it is not touching any of the walls, the side or the back. I have given enough space in the back and the sides so that I can access them. So this is the um, entrance of the uh, greenhouse. Um, I put a little bit of uh, stickers on the side so I can just simply peel them. These are like you know wall hanging um, stickers like you know they are wheelbarrows. I built these two side stands or the three side stands after I built the greenhouse. This is just to help with some of the parts um, that I put on that stand and I put the bigger parts on the the ground. My um, pomegranate uh, that's in the dormancy at this point uh, in the winter and I kind of planting uh, two um, taru roots. I place them here and this is my jasmine and I, I, brought, I brought all those um, eggplants indoor for the winter so the next year when spring comes I can put them on the ground so this is not an annual this is a perennial so I just uh, I just move them indoor after it after the last summer okay so all these are my uh, moringa um, I know I trimmed them after I moved indoor and I started uh, shooting new um, shoots Few more uh, eggplants. This is my um, cilantro, and I'm trying um, goa plants. Uh, I'm, gr I'm growing them from seeds, so I have like um, three or four seedlings coming inside the pot here. And I have uh, the moringa tree uh, again, like you know, the one that I moved indoor, doing well. I moved the chili plant indoor after the summer. They are doing well and um, surprisingly these are giving lots of um, chilies. And this is a mango plant that I, that I uh, sowed in the spring and I moved indoor after the summer. I'm trying some cuttings from the uh, jasmine which is which I pruned very drastically over the winter. And then these are some of the other uh, plants. So I just planted some mint um, stems. So I'm getting some mints. And one more uh, eggplant. And this is a lemon plant that I'm growing from seed. And son, my son and myself are trying to grow some uh, more avocados. Um, that's my avocado tree that I've been growing from at least, I want to say like at least like eight, nine months now. 
Um, I just uh, snip to the top and it's going more shoots on the side. This is another Moringa tree um, doing well after moving indoor. This is Bougainvillea and that's my curry leaf plant. And this surprising plant is kiwi. I tried the kiwi plant from seeds. Um, it's doing well. So, so the greenhouse last year, I did not have a good um, luck moving the plants indoor under the basement. Did not go well. Uh, it was cold. This year, I built this greenhouse by uh, building this frame myself. And I bought this um, greenhouse sheet from Amazon for $35. It's, um, I want to say like 25 feet by 100 feet length. The indoor temperature, um, I have a good humidity. So humidity is between, um, it's now 70. It's, it's normal humidity, a little bit higher than normal. And then the temperature, it's around 72. I have a fan that's running 24 by seven. I put them in the corner. And I have a heater uh, which just maintains the temperature inside the house. And, and these are like, I bought them from Walmart and I believe this is like 20 bucks and the fan is around like seven or eight bucks. And I have like you know, three lights, um, the frames that I got from um, Minat. And uh, these are grow lights. So surprisingly plants are doing well this year in Dow. Um, all right, this is my, this is the update. I have a um, temperature gauge and an, um, and a humidity gauge indoor um, inside the uh, greenhouse that tells me like you know, what's uh, temperature and the humidity inside the greenhouse. And I also have an, um, uh, a thermometer and then uh, a humidity gauge outside that tells me what's my temperature and uh, what's my humidity outside the greenhouse just to make sure like, I'm not letting the humidity outside the greenhouse and I built this small vent um, just to pump any hot air sometimes once in a while I would uh, want to uh, circulate the air inside by doing the um, by turning on this exhaust which just pumps all the hot air inside to uh, and just vents it out so this is already built into the house okay all right i hope you guys liked it thank you for watching bye for now